Hello once again our most developed student. My name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek into my personal experiences. This is a channel designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In our ultimate guide to organic chemistry and we have looked at a number of videos already when it comes to organic chemistry I'm continuing with the next lesson and the next lesson here is on alkenes guys if this is your first time you are coming in contact with this channel it means you have lost a number of lessons on this build up of the organic chemistry that's why I call it the ultimate guide subscribe and be notified if you're coming for the first time go through every video that we've done so that you can be here now for you to be here you need to understand the the, the, the background of why we are doing what we're doing but if you are subscribed it will even be a better way of following up because you know you'll be notified every time we are adding new modules now we are looking at alkenes and with the alkenes it says up to eight carbon atoms when you're looking at alkenes so we are also going to follow up from uh, the part to say they are unsaturated uh, the naming the structural formula molecular formula condensed structure and the general formula now the first part we are doing here if I can just bring it into you we are now looking at alkenes right and alkenes let's put the background again number one they are hydrocarbons what does it mean if we say they're hydrocarbons meaning they contain only hydrogen and carbon atoms only the next part we said they are unsaturated now the word unsaturated we said it contains multiple bonds either a single or double bonds between carbon atoms so for alkenes this is what they contain it's carbon double bond carbon later we're going to look at what is called functional groups you must know this is the functional group or this is what make alkenes behave the way they behave it is this group they have got a what a double bond not don't just say multiple bonds now you know that that multiple is a double bond so number one they are hydrocarbons number two they are unsaturated and then the next part we are saying is the naming of these now we have done the naming of alkanes it becomes easier now for the naming of alkenes so let me uh, write like I did previously to say you say it up to eight carbon atoms so it's one it's two three four and then we've got five and then we've got six I have got five six seven and eight so with the naming of alkenes the alkenes i need you to be sensitive because this is the other question that they ask actually i wanted to do this like this take this a little bit down i'm doing this intentionally so you see what i mean now we have to name them remember from carbon one carbon two carbon three carbon four so let's start if you're already knowing this topic you're going to cringe and say no that's wrong but i'll do it intentionally so let's start with the first one the first one is alkenes let's start with the first one and then we take it from there so we have got here i'll start from number two ethene and then propene and then butene and then number five remember i said you need to know this number four remember it's but number five it's pent pent pentagon uh is a five sh uh, sided shape so you you say pentene number six it's a hex number seven it's a hept number eight it's oct remember this one so hex it's hexene hept it's heptene oct it's octene see that now i told you before that these are linked to alkanes alkanes remember with ethane propane butane pentane hexane heptane octane do you see that it's still maintaining but the only difference between alkanes 
look at this we are we were having alkanes to now alkenes alkanes we said a n e alkenes it's what e n e alkene from an alkane to alkene that's why you have got what you see now we have got ethene propene e n e that's the keyword e n e that's what is the change that butene pentene hexene heptene and what and octene you see that when you've done that we are now able to come up okay that's the first one now you're asking me why is one number one blank what do you think was supposed to be the molecule there if you are adding e remember it was methane so you expect to have methane as the first one but i'll put a big x it does not exist not exist and you're going to know why it does not exist let's start here with our shape because i brought in a shape here when you're starting i said here on this shape look at this this was an alkane this is ethane uh, i'll make it this one exists because it's ethane let's write it like that you have got ethane y carbon carbon see this is one two and then you have got that hydrogen 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 so it's c2 and h6 this is the moment you say carbon number two and it's saturated it's an ethane it's an alkane so far so good now how do we move to the from here to there look at this carbon you can see double bond carbon then you've got hydrogen this is the structure hydrogen hydrogen and hydrogen because it's got two carbons also we say it, it becomes ethene it has two carbons it becomes ethene and then it's c2h4 structural formula and molecular formula now look at this the thing is for you to have a multiple bond like a carbon 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 double bond you can't form it with one carbon so before the two remember this is two you have got carbon number one c that's that's from methane so now there is no way i can do this carbon carbon double bond and then after that i put hydrogens like this hydrogens like that now carbon is got only four remember it will be one two three four and then i put a hydrogen hydrogen cannot form double bonds remember this you cannot form a double bond with a hydrogen so if they can only be single bonds with hydrogen you can put a hydrogen here you can put a hydrogen here it means the only possible structure with one carbon is alkanes which is methane but now you cannot go to a double bond from here if i say let's go to a double bond it's not possible unless there is another carbon but now how many are they one two the moment i put two no longer methane we go to what we go to ethane because ethane has got two carbons hence it is not possible to have methane methane why because methane cannot have a double bond they will ask you they'll ask you why is it that we do not have methane methane you, you can you can then say they they it's not possible they cannot be it's not possible to have a double bond on a single carbon atom it is not possible hence methane does not exist are you with me so now when you look at the structure these are basic structures remember it's not the actual structuring but just to appreciate the basic structures methane it's what see uh this structural formula here it's c let's that it's c double bond c this is the first one here all right so we've got the first one and then the second one okay the the the, the molecular formula it's c2h4 now propene it's one you do that i'll be adding the double bond in the first one like this just to simplify things all right actually this one is more like here like this it's fine to make it 
um, some will argue must I make this hydrogen like this in the when there is a double bond we like making it more like this but you also allowed to do it like this just flat straight still fine but you know the more actual feel of this is when it's like this you know and then it's C3 and then it's H what H6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then next one butene I'll do the same thing it's you can look at it if it's 2 2 times 2 is 4 3 3 times 2 4 so I can even actually write to that C4 H what times 2 it's 8 so butene becomes double bond it's 4 then that one becomes a bit skewed because of the double bond this one is straight is 1 here they are now 2 like this then here it, because it needs 3 this is that now can you do for me the other ones and then on these other ones uh, pentene hexene heptene octene make the double bond in the first carbon so what i'm saying pause this video and then draw your structures the double bond must be in the first two carbons like here you see in the first two this if this is carbon one and carbon two carbon one and carbon two you see in the first two carbons i put my double bond just draw the structure for me but do it for pentene hexane heptene and octane can you pause this video and do that for me remember practicing here is very very important so for pentene it's c5 h what h10 so pause the video and write all of them c6 h12 c7 h14 remember you multiply by 2 if it's 8 8 times 2 is h16 right I think already we can go ahead and say what is the general formula now remember we're talking about the general formula do you see what I'm doing if I have got general formula C n it's H you said 8 times 2 7 times 2 so it's n times 2 which is 2 times I mean n times 2 is 2n you multiply this n times 2 to get the number of hydrogens so it's C n H 2 n are you getting that now I want to show you how we moved from alkanes alkanes it was what C N H 2 N plus 2 now when you move to this one look at it what I did is I subtracted minus 2 here because that's what went out and then if you say minus 2 or you put take out two hydrogens because it's on hydrogens then you get this so which means when you're moving from alkanes to alkenes you are taking out what two hydrogen is minus two hydrogens that's where now if you look at the structure here look at this structure you can see that I knocked off this hydrogen and this hydrogen and from here a bond was developed you see that then you get this other structure here with one two three and four do you see what is happening you are taking out these two hydrogens so they are coming off so that is what actually happens from alkanes to alkenes i say draw the structure did you come up with the structure it's uh if i maintain my previous uh, pen here it's see that it's five so this is one two three four five that's where you are having your structure there you are having don't forget at the end you need to have um enough number of hydrogens if you have more than four you'll be penalized for example you make an error and you add that look at this i've got one bond let me use it i've got one bond two bonds three bonds four bonds it looks possible but there is another five then this structure does not exist so be careful don't add extra hydrogens this does not exist always maintain the number four so for example on this one I've got one already I've got two I've got three I've got four you see that always maintain four and then let's draw the other structure it's six one two three four five six tricky one is here to say I've got three then it's four then the center ones with single bonds they take two 
they take two they take two the last ones they take how many three if there is no double bond but because of the first one that is the double bond it can now take two same thing here seven one two three four five six seven you do the same it takes two here the last one because it had a single bond i mean it take three here and then the rest you take two i said to you don't get lazy adding these hydrogens because some of you are like i'm too busy for that you'll be penalized a mark all right then the last one is octane here is eight one two three four five six seven eight then you fill up with what you fill up with hydrogens uh, hydrogens you fill up with a uh, hydrogens like that all right so this is that then we quickly come back to the condensed remember we say condensed structural formula we can start it from here to say uh, on this one when you talk about the condensed structure here it's CH2 CH2 here it's CH2 CH CH3 if you want to show the double bond you can you can say CH2 double bond CH CH2 CH3 look at it CH2 CH CH2 CH3 now can you do the other condensed structure for these ones pentene what are you coming up with so for pentene pause the video and you do the condensed structure this you are supposed to get CH2 and then you can put that CH but now these are one two CH2s so CH2 there must be two and then CH3 so at the end this is two three four five this is one two three four five you must make sure that you maintain what about hexene hexene here will be ch2 ch and then ch2 there are how many here there are one two three and ch3 so three four five six heptene again you do the same thing it's a CH2, CH, CH2. Now there are three, now there will be four CH3. Remember, we said in this homologous series, we're adding CH2. So here it's CH3, CH, CH2. Now there are, there are five and CH3. So five, six, seven, eight. So look at this. I'm moving, for example, the movement from here to here from here to here it's plus ch2 and then it's plus this group ch2 so look at this it's it's easier to see here there i added the ch2 group you see it wasn't there here but it's added even when you look at the next flow the ch2 there are two here but in the next one there are three see that so i'm saying plus ch2 you are adding plus ch2 plus ch2 that is the movement from one uh cup hydrocarbon to the next uh hydrocarbon we call it the nomenclature so guys this is it we're looking at our kings and the next lesson we're going to look at what alkynes you need to know alkynes as i said if you are subscribed and you're following up on this lesson they are not going to be a problem because you are building up from the beginning ensure that you also share this channel to your friends and colleagues join me in the next lesson thank you